Welcome to Unify Super Learning. This is the Einstein series. Uh, it's going to continue for a while, but anyway, first of all, if Einstein used to hate his uh, schools when he was growing up, and uh, if he's around now, he's going to support the Unify the Super Learning program for sure. So uh, that's the beginning. Let's start with the uh, uh, simple Einstein mathematics first. In this uh, series, I'm going to uh, this in this part. I'm going to cover the four simple equations of Einstein uh, that everybody can understand. So for this example, Einstein, I have to quote, uh, he said, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has a forgotten gift. The reason why I'm quoting this one is uh, this philosophy of his is uh, going along quite well with the unified super learning strategy. And the uh, next one is the uh, equation for success. Uh, one, one interviewer asked him once uh, what the success uh, he got and how he achieved that. He came up with this uh, formula, simple formula, and uh, we get into that later. And the third equation we are going to deal with is that uh, this uh, equal is inversely proportional to the knowledge, and this is a reciprocal equation example. So I Put this up and the, finally the most famous one equal mc square yes so having said that let's start with the first one the intuitive mind versus the rational mind i brought this up in order to illustrate uh, how to use uh, inequality not only equations equality so in the ideal case intuitive mind and the rational mind is used they have and have uh, sacred sacred gift is as einstein says the intuitive mind and the faithful servant is waking up the rational mind if they are a little bit equal, but in reality they are not equal, so uh, we have to use the inequality sign. Intuitive mind, the sacred gift. In reality, uh, in the modern industrialized countries, most people, the education and the entire system heavily run by the rational minds. It's pretty much left uh, left brain dominated. So the faithful servant is way better, bigger, larger than the sacred gift. So. Uh, so inequality sign, this will be the case. On the other hand, if you, what Einstein desire is to uh, become reality, the intuitive mind is get much bigger than the, the uh, rational mind. Yes, and this was the first one. And now for the second one, uh, the success formula of Einstein. Uh, a, so A is a success, X, Y, Z is defined as a such. So then the success is going to be consists of uh, work plus play plus keep your mouth shut. So uh, working hard, contributing to success, understandable play, what that has because the more you enjoy it, the, the more productive you will be. The third one is not quite intuitively acceptable to some people, is to keep your mouth shut because Einstein was so successful and he was so uh, so vocal about uh, his beliefs in general. He was very outgoing, upsetting a lot of people, which could have particularly triggered some uh, unfortunate situations. So probably that's how it came up. And the example for this one is, let's say, if the success is uh, 10, then left side of the equation is a 10. And if the x and y, according uh, respectively, is a 2 and 3, x plus y is a 5. So left side is 10, right side is so far 5. So z got to be 5, yes, to add up together to become 10. So this is just a simple example. Uh, and then if you try to uh, visually uh, describe this one, success uh, success can be described in terms of uh, work and uh, play and uh, keep your mouth shut. And uh, this one, the overall, they contribute to this according to this uh, linear combination equation, yes. And the next one, I'm going to go to the, yeah, the breaking down a little bit. So in this case, uh, there is one equal one equality. So that is the equation, one equation. So the a x y zero z individually, they are each one of them is uh, variable. So four of them variables. And uh, can you solve it? Well, if you know the all this x y z, you know then if you can get a etc. Et but out of this. Four, at least three should be specified. If you know only two, we cannot have a specific answer, yes? And then the third example, and then we'll end up part one. So this is, uh, ego is inversely proportional to knowledge, and uh, as I said, the more knowledge is, is the downstairs get bigger, then you're going to have a less level. And the smaller ego uh, knowledge you have, then the, because the inversely proportional, the bigger ego you have. 
So uh, in this case, again, the one equal sign, one equation, the two variables, Evo and the values, are the variables each. And then the reciprocal function, and the, if you Evo is y, values is uh, x, then y equals 1 over x, yes, reciprocal equation. So uh, example of this, so who do you think are those who claim the validity of their knowledge with the most certainty? Uh, I skipped off. So it's a type of, but anyway, so who is going to have, uh, is going to be valid? If you look around, those people typically uh, uh, religious, zealous, or fanatic, and so on. So it doesn't have to be religion alone, any kind of a fanatics or extreme people. Uh, they, th they think they uh, got given knowledge, etc. They think they know everything and uh, they don't need any proof or sign science backing up or anything, no data, they don't need it, they just, that's end of the story, right? But they kind of people, they kind of knowledge, whatever they have, is so strong, uh, I mean, sorry, the knowledge is so tiny, but the ego is huge in their case. On the other hand, scientists quite often, the more they know, people tend to be more humble, yes? Ego smaller, so knowledge is huge and huge, and then inversely, the ego gets smaller and smaller. This pretty much exemplifies the situation, but Historical footnote I want to make is uh, in Einstein's time, he was one of the pioneers of quantum physics and uh, with uh, something called the photoelectric effect and so on. But then the later on, the, when he was like early mid 40s or so, starting the middle stage of his career, he completely uh, abandoned the quantum mechanics and uh, say goodbye, and uh, he was. Uh, completely against us for the rest of his life. And uh, here, the, his, his own uh, philosophic reason is uh, some philosopher consider him a lot of because a lot uh, positivist. I, I guess he was, a, I kind of think he was a positivist, but according to his kind of line of thought, uh, the other side is not quite acceptable. And then the, the, the kind of thing, to a certain extent, the quantum mechanics pr uh, progress is kind of a slowing down, my personal opinion, and other people will disagree, but the uh, kind of irony is uh, exemplified by Einstein's his own saying, uh, there was someone who quote something like, uh, he said, well, I, I, I was against, uh, I've been against uh, authority all my life, but uh, historic, uh, my life's irony is I wound up becoming an uh, irony, my, I mean, the authority myself. So that kind of thing is related to this knowledge thing. He's, uh, he built his uh, big theory, but then the, at the same time, a certain degree, his ego is obviously inflated, in my opinion. Again, some people uh, disagree, so the, all this irony, but it's mathematically uh, expressing is going to be something like this kind of reciprocal equation, yes? And then the, we'll take a break and get back to the equation for and move on.